So let's start to work with layers in Muse. If you've got your A master page open, hopefully you do, if you look over here on the right, you'll see that we have a layers panel. Click on the tab if you haven't already. You can also come under window and you'll see layers right there. Every Muse document starts with one layer and it's called layer one. And all the content you have is on that layer. And what's really cool, I'll show you some really great things here about layers, is that each layer has an, its own name and you can create a whole bunch of layers in here if you want to, to organize your content or, you know, make it so that you can turn content on and off, uh, just a lot of different things. You'll see each layer also has a color, which means if you click on, let's say, come over here to the logo with the selection tool, click on the logo, you'll see it's blue, the edge of it. Well, the layer indicates what, the color rather, indicates what layer it's on. So blue, it's on the blue layer called layer one. If you want to rename these, you can always just double click a layer name to name them. And that's what I suggest people do. Come to layer one here and double click on it. And you'll see the layer options dialog box. Go ahead and name it. We're going to call this, um, I don't know, page content. How about that? You can choose a different color if you want to. It's your call. Uh, I choose colors that, I don't know, stick out like blue, magenta, red. Because if you do that, then it might, it sometimes it's actually easier to see the edges of things to select them. Oh, so that's going to be a little easier. It's your call. I'm going to leave it light blue just so we all kind of maintain consistency here. Show layer is the same thing. If you turn this off or select it, deselect it rather, it's the same thing as clicking on this little eye icon, but it's in the dialog box. So it, it basically means it's going to hide everything that's on the layer, which in this case is everything. Lock layer, it's going to lock all of the content on the layer so that you can't touch it. You can't select it unless you unlock the layer. It's the same thing as clicking this little column right here. Really weird, I know, but all right, go ahead and click OK. There's the layer. Click on the eye just to show you. Click on the eye. Off. On. Click on the blank spot here. Lock. Unlock. Now, if you lock the content on a layer, like I said, you can't do a thing. So this little pencil is telling you, nope, no can go, because there's only one layer. All right, click the lock, turn it off. A couple other really cool things. If you come to the right here, you're going to see this square. Look at the tooltip right there. Click to select items. Go ahead and click. It's going to select everything on the layer. Now, if you click here, do this. Click somewhere to deselect. By the way, if you have a bunch of stuff selected, you can also go to edit and choose deselect all if you had stuff selected. Click on the logo again to select it. You'll see that there's a little blue box, a little teeny blue box inside of that other box. That little blue box, whenever you see the, the little colored box somewhere on a layer, it means that it's on that layer. You'll also notice here that the layer itself, you, you get an arrow to the left. Click on the little teeny arrow. This is a toggle. It'll toggle open the layer. This Muse works very similarly to InDesign and Illustrator in that you actually have sublayers. Well, they're not really sublayers. They're they're more like you're, you see all the content on the layer, which is cool. And some people hate that. I love it. You don't have to look at it this way. You can just toggle the arrow and never touch it if you don't want to. But you can see everything that's on a layer. I think what's great about that is then you can go in and kind of turn on and off or lock a specific item. You could click to the right, let's say, and select just that item if you want to. You, If you want to rearrange things, like I want contact us to be beneath the gray rectangle, you can always come over here and drag content, move it around. You're going to see you got to move far enough, drag it far enough rather, and you can reorder things. No, I don't want to do that, so I'll drag it back. Uh, so there's a lot we can do here. And what's interesting is this logo ping. Notice the arrow to the left of that. Go ahead and click on it. Mine opened. This is the actual frame that the image is inside of. We're going to talk about this later, but images are in frames. So if you click on over here to the right, the box to the right, you're selecting the image and the frame. If you click to the right of the image, logo.ping, you're selecting just the image in the frame. It's kind of wacky. Anyway. All right, go ahead and click the arrows to the left of all of these to toggle them close. Click somewhere where there's nothing to deselect. And we're going to create a new layer. So come down here to the bottom. You'll see that we have new layer. Click on that. It's going to create a brand new layer with nothing on it. We want to rename it. So double click the new name. And yours might not be layer two if you've tried a couple layers already. Just call this uh, masters. How about that? 
you could change the color if you wanted to. I'm not going to, just so we you know keep the defaults. Keep everything the same. Click OK. Now there's nothing on that layer, which is fine. What I want to do is I want to take the content that we have here and move it to the master's layer. Because, you know, and, and of course, you guys, I'm trying to show you how to do this, but I probably would have saved the first layer that the stuff's already on as masters. I know. But I'm trying to show you how we can do this. Suppose you have this logo, and right now it's on the page content layer. Now, how can I tell it's on the page content layer? Color, color, box, selected, right there. Now, we can move something from one layer to another by simply dragging this little box. You can see right there. I can see, look, look at the tooltip. Drag to move between layers or change the order. The order just means top to bottom, what's on top, what's on bottom. Take that little blue box, drag it up straight up, and drop it on the square above, and let go. We just moved that object from one layer to another. Now you can also cut and paste with a layer selected. You could do that too. But eh, that's kind of cool. Let's select these two objects. Now, an easy way to select multiple objects is to click somewhere away and drag across. And you'll see them be selected. You don't have to go all the way around them either. You can just kind of touch them. There we go. Come to page content. Click and drag the little blue square up to masters. And there we go. Everything is now on the masters layer. One thing we do need to pay attention to, though, the masters layer is on top of the page content layer. So once we start to add page content, it's going to be beneath this stuff. Just keep it in mind. The other thing is when you start working with layers, keep working with them. A lot of people will go gung-ho. They'll create a bunch of layers, and then they'll forget about them, and they'll just keep start creating. What happens is the last layer selected is where everything goes. So you'll wind up having a whole bunch of layers, and then everything's still on one of them. <laughs> so, it, yeah, anyway. There's a lot of great things we can do here when working with layers, you'll find. Click on the logo. Here's a great example. If you come in here, let's suppose that I want to see where it is in what layer and what's going on. Look at this little button down here. You're going to see Locate Object. Go ahead and click on that little eyeglass, and it will, it will open or toggle open the layer and show you where the object is. I love that. Now, you can also, a quick, couple quick shortcuts here. I know you're just learning these, why shortcuts, but... If you come down here and you want to create a new layer, I hate the icon doesn't change. If you click on new layer down there, you can go in double click on it. But a fast way to do this is if you alt or option click on the new layer button, you don't have to do this. You're going to have to delete it if you do. So just watch on the new layer button, alt or option click. It'll automatically create a layer and open the dialog for you. So just quick little time saver there. I'll click cancel. And there we go. There's a lot of other things we can do. If you have a layer selected, you can always delete it. You'll also notice that if I click slow enough on the layer name, I could name it right there. I always I don't have patience for that usually, so I'll just double click and get the dialog box. There's a lot of little things you can do. Later on, we might get to um, a couple other things too, but if you come to one of the layers here and right click or control click on a layer name, you're gonna see we can add a new layer, delete a layer, Duplicate a layer if you want to. That's kind of cool. A lot of the layer shortcuts that you use in Illustrator and InDesign, for that matter, will work in here. So you can try them and see if they do. Hide, lock, we've all seen that. Select all, that's clicking the box on the right. And this one's my favorite, paste remembers layers. If you take, uh, let's say you, you grab some content. I grabbed all the footer content here by selecting it. And I go to copy that. If I paste it into a new site, okay, new site, it's just going to merge it into the layer that's already there. It's going to stick it on that layer. But suppose I want to keep this master's layer. Well, if before you copy, if I come to the master layer here, right-click, and choose Paste Remembers Layers, just turn it on. If you then copy the content and paste it into the new site, it'll paste the, new, the layer called Masters and the content on the layer. That's pretty cool. All right. Click somewhere to deselect. Make sure all the layers are toggled closed. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that the master content is on top and page content is below, and we should be set. Go ahead and save your site. Come under File, Save Site. Next up, we are going to jump right into inserting the menu that goes at the top in the header.